future's made of virtual insanity what's up guys this is the gospel according to mark with a c he is i and i am he just taking some time to tell you exactly what's on my mind thank you for joining me once again my friends i hope all is well with you now guys i want to go through the comment section on my last video that was entitled when they want my opinion they'll give it to me now i see a good amount of comments here so i want to read it to you rather than like go down the line responding to each and every one of them it's easier for me to do it this way and as i do it i'll be leaving likes on the comments that i read now we're going to start off with the first comment here and this is bigger fort entertainment my good brother anzo what's up man much love anzo says you're back and of course he's referring to the fact that youtube kicked me off for about a week because they didn't like what I had to say regarding the, um, you know, the jab, you know, and um, I haven't changed my mind, man. It's like, I, I still believe what I believe. It's just that now they tightly control what you say. And um, who knows? It's like they could brainwash people at this point because they want to control the narrative. Although I don't think that they could do that, man. I don't think that they really have the technology and the resources to be able to actually brainwash people. <laughs> The COVID vaccine is safe and effective. It's never hurt anyone. The benefits far outweigh the risk. In fact, it's been known to have many health benefits that go far beyond curing the virus and treating it. The vaccine has endless benefits in anyone who implies differently is a traitor to your country. Bow to Fauci. How'd I get here? That's strange. <laughs> Very interesting. I guess I'll look at the video later on, but for some reason, I, I just feel like I might have lost a few seconds. <laughs> anyway, um, moving on. Rocky the Black Dragon says, facts. And I guess he's referring to what I say in the video. Facts. Thank you for your support, Rocky. Thanks for always being here. And he also says there's two days left to the 4th of July. Um, you guys doing anything? Actually, let me leave likes on these things because I said I was going to. So, um... What are you guys doing for the 4th of July, man? Um, I'm just going to be chilling. You know, the dog gets so spooked out, you know, like when he sees like or when he hears fireworks and everything. So you got to walk him before it starts because he will not, will not go outside. It's the weirdest thing in the world. You know, dogs, they get so shook with that. And um, it's funny because he's a tough dog, too. But he's, he's damn sure afraid of that. Moving on. Silva Nova 352 or 352. 354 silver nova 354 <sighs> firstly thank you for your honesty humor and courage for discussing subjects that may be unpalatable for some with vigor yeah you know me this is the first youtube channel i ever subscribed to about five or six years ago silver nova i didn't know that wow I'm, I'm i'm feeling i'm feeling good right about now i was your first you know i hope i was everything you hoped it would be <laughs> Secondly, the people that criticize you, call you names, etc., well, they tend to not know good writing characters, normal civil discourse, or even basic biology for that matter. <laughs> Some folks have been angry and have had a chip on their shoulder for so long they have no idea how to do anything but hold on to their own misery and talk down to others. Yeah, Silvanova, you've been around for a while. Thank you, man. Thank you for always being there. And I agree 100%. And it's actually scary because I feel like before the internet, we had a better grasp on that. Like communicating with each other and being able to respect each other's differences. Doesn't mean that we didn't used to fight about stuff. But these days, it just seems like, as I've always said, the more we get of social media, the more anti-social we get. And this is the reason why I do call it anti-social media. All right, moving on. We have Michael Braz, Braz Hears, Michael Braz Hears, 8293. And he says, great video. Thank you, sir. It's just sad that today the amount of people that haven't learned from the past. I'm a middle-aged white guy that was raised and believes skin color, religion don't matter. We're all human and we have a finite time on this planet. Yeah, 
we will find out who is wrong or right religion wise when we die so until then we ought to be able to get along sadly many have shown that they have taken a page from and company and know only pure hate for those who don't believe like they do at least you're still trying and putting out great videos thank you you're welcome mike and um Man, you are so right. We are all human and we have a finite time on this planet. Um, I've always said from the time that you're born, from the time that you learn how to speak, your words are limited. So don't waste your time talking shit. You know what I mean? And I usually, that's my approach when I do these videos. I don't like to waste my words. It might seem like I do, but I don't. Every word that I say is deliberate for that very reason. I am well aware that one of these videos one day will be my last video and that'll be all that I have to leave. That'll be all that I have to say to impart onto the world. So, um, you are so right, Mike. You are so right. Um, next at Aster for Jaden, he says, I'm always happy to hear from you, Mark. Thank you. Thank you so much. And you've been around for a long time and I really do value you. Thank you for being here, brother. Uh, the only Cato 1462 says Mark for president. I don't care if you're black, red, green, white, pink, or whatever. Your opinions are great most of the time. And I love to hear them. Me for president? You know something? There was a time when automatically I would say, hell no, I would never do that to this country. I love this country. But after watching that last debate, I don't know. Maybe I couldn't do that bad a job. <laughs> you know what I mean? I like to think that I could kill Medicare too. <laughs> Moving on. Thank you for your support, bro. Uh, at Sewell510 says, these Disney shills that are accusing us of being racist, phobes, and gatekeepers are the first people to throw that BS at us. See, that's, and that's the funny thing about it, right? Because when they watched that video, somebody came to me and said that I was a token. That's what you saw in the last uh, thumbnail. They put a picture of token there and said, Mark, can't you see that you're a token? And then when I went back at the person, they're like, don't you dare pull the race card. Um... You're the one who put the picture of a token there. You picked me out of a lineup, bro. It's like I couldn't even tell you how many black people were in that video. But apparently it means something or it meant something to you, you know, to the person that would say such a thing. And then they want to turn around and say, I'm playing the race card when they're the ones that hit me over the head with my race. I never lead with that, guys, unless I have like a real reason to do so. But it's never going to be from the standpoint of, oh, I'm a poor victim. You ain't going to see that, bro. This, you ain't talking to a young buck right here. It's like I have a philosophy in life. And that philosophy does not include or make room for me being a victim. No, I am the victimizer. Moving on. <laughs> Darth Plato says, I hear you, Mark. Thank you for posting this video. Much respect, bro. Barry on 8706. What up, Barry on, man? This, this is another one. Been with me for a very long time. We've been together. Thank you for being here. I don't always agree with you, but I have yet to hear you say something unreasonable. I appreciate the honesty. Then he says, edit. And someone who doesn't want to argue points isn't being honest, at least intellectually. We'll always have those, I think. And you're right. There are people out there who are just contrarian. No matter what you say, no matter what they do, they're going to make it their point to go in the opposite direction. Most forcefully. And that's what really gets me. It's like, if you're going to be passionate about your point, at least have a point that you believe in. Don't just be that person who says, you know something, I don't like that mofo. So I'm going to give him a hard time. But unfortunately, that's what you see far too often. All right. L Lirios Lirioxim. Okay, I, I know I'm pronouncing that wrong. Since they're far left, everyone who disagrees with them are branded as far right. I don't think we could reason with them anymore. And you're right. See, that's, that's the thing that frightens me, guys. I'm so frightened. It's like, it's like invasion of the body snatchers. You know what I mean? People went to sleep and woke up and they look like themselves. They sound like themselves, but they've lost all reason. You know, that's the thing. I could, I could argue with somebody in respect, like I do it all the time. I could argue with someone and respect their point of view if I really see that it's what they believe in and they, they've made a point that this is why they believe in it. But we have such a, a group mob mentality at this point. It's scary because it goes against reason. Everything that you see that's going on out here today, it's like, you really can't believe what it is that you're saying. It's like, how much thought do you put into this before you start trying to bash other people over the head? But unfortunately, this is what you see. Moving on, at Vane737, never let anyone put words in your mouth, brother. 
We come here to hear your opinion, not theirs. Ooh, rock on. Thank you. Thank you. That's what I'm fucking talking about. Thank you, bro. See, that, that's what gets me charged up. I love it. I love it. Uh, Vernon Hampton, 5863, says, Does anyone actually know what the meaning of the word bigot means anymore? Also, honestly, once my podcast grows, I would love to have you as a guest. Vernon, you know where to find me. But you know what? You make a good point. Let me just look something up on, uh, on my tricorder right here, my handy-dandy phone, right? Bigot. This is funny because I never thought to do this, right? The actual literal definition as given to us in the Oxford Language Dictionary. A person who is uh, unreasonably attached to a belief, opinion, or faction, especially one who is prejudiced against or antagonistic towards a person or people on the basis of their membership of a particular group. <laughs> you know something? That's funny because these Disney Lucasfilm Star Wars fans who are coming at me, they are actually the bigots. I didn't tell them they didn't have a right to not to, to like what they like. Is From the very beginning, I said, like it. If you want to like it, love it. That's great. I'm just expressing my opinion. But they're the ones who come in here coming after me, calling me names. So according to that, why you would be the bigots. I don't know. All right. Thanks, Vernon. Moving on. Uh, oh, my old friend Freeport48. What's up, bro? What's up? Thank you. Thank you. Another one. Uh, I went on to a very old video of mine and I saw a comment from you and I'm like, I, I just love the fact that you've been around so long. So Freeport48 says, I am so happy you're here speaking the truth, my friend. At my age, I wish I could do more. All I can do now is sub and listen and comment. And, and believe, believe me, that's enough. Um, peace and know as I believe you do, you are worthy as a human being. God bless you and yours, my friend. Freeport48, thank you so much, bro, from the bottom of my heart. I really do feel that, man. Uh, moving on. At Mage Demon 2576 uh, goes on to say, me and the rest of the bunch of the legends in the comments have been talking and we came to a conclusion. We like you because you just speak your mind straight up, human to human, expressing your thoughts. And also fan rants, my personal favorites. <laughs> But you also speak with love for others. Gay! He says, just kidding. It's honestly nice to hear someone just want to say something nice about people in general. But also call someone a C-word or asshole when they deserve it. You know me so well. You have my love and my respect. You know, Mage, Demon, uh, thank you. That's another one that's very heartfelt. Thank you so much. And uh, yes, you have my word. I will always speak my mind straight up, human to human, expressing my thoughts. And um, you guys know I'm always going to be doing those fan rants. So uh, thank you very much. Uh, let's see. Jhan04 says, thanks again, sir. Uh, Mage Demon comes back with a $10 super thanks. Oh, man. Thank you. Thank you so much. Boy, you are going to get that new pair of cleats before football season. I promise you. All right. So let's see. Mage Demon says again, love your content. Shit happens in real life. And Mark with a C says, F, 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 real life bull spit can't we just get along and for sake fix star wars and fandom already yeah see that's all it really takes just just fix star wars that's all we want guys and see that's the painful thing about it right because you think that it's funny you think it's a little bit strange that everyone who loves disney star wars unconditionally they're well-adjusted beautiful lovely human beings and anyone who has any criticisms of Disney Star Wars, they're racist, they're homophobe, they're sexist, they're scum of the earth. Isn't that funny how that works? You know what I mean? So those people who love it and benefit the multi-billion dollar corporation, they get the good reputation of being great human beings. And anyone who um, criticizes it, this multi-billion dollar corporation, then we get to be called every terrible name underneath the sun. It's funny how nobody thinks about how that works. You know what I mean? Like, whose side are you really on when you're going against us, the fans? Moving on, Richard Strand, 2130, says, I remember a few years ago when Kanye said something that went against the narrative and Maxine Waters said he spoke out of turn. Yeah, remember that? And uh, Obama also, uh, when things happened with the Taylor Swift thing, when uh, Kanye went up on stage and did that, uh, took the mic from Taylor Swift and said Beyonce should have got the award. Um, I remember Barack Obama said something like he's a jackass or something. Why would the president of the United States condemn an entertainer 
based on some antics that he did. What was that? At the Grammys or something? That's when I knew that Barack Obama was full of shit, bro. But anyway, moving on. Actually, it was probably before that. Uh, Logan Hurley, 4764, says, It would be cool if you collabed with Young Ripper. I see that ISOM comic in the back. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, listen, um, me and Rip are cool, man. Eric, actually, we were just on a stream this past Saturday. We were on Flashcast together. And we've been on a few streams before, you know, over the years and stuff. Eric is a great guy, man. It's like, I, I know a lot of people want to criticize him and stuff, but that man is making history. Leave that man alone and wish him well. You know, that, that's all you got to do. It's like running up in his place of business, uh, running out to his grandparents' uh, cemetery, you know, all of that stuff. All of that is bitch made, man. I don't respect that at all. Grow the fuck up. You're lucky, man. This, this ain't back in the day. But anyway, uh, shout out to Young Rip. Sassy, <laughs> Sassy 7766, my girl, you mind me telling you, you mind me saying that? I know you're married, but I'm just saying. Um, I respect you, all right? Uh, how dare you have a different opinion than the people trying to defend you from toxic fans? They are definitely projecting. I think a lot of them are younger. Uh, I think they would be the type of people that made uh, fun of us 20 or 50 years ago. Um, well, yeah, I talked about that before. Unfortunately, that's what we have that's running Lucasfilm. We have those people who never got Star Wars, who didn't understand Star Wars, and secretly have a resentment towards Star Wars and its true fans. Unfortunately, they are in positions of power. You know what I mean? And um, take that as a, a warning, a metaphoric warning for larger concerns because you can't let people get into positions of power who don't respect you and don't respect uh, what came before them. Unfortunately, this is what we're getting with Star Wars and in some ways this is also what we're getting with our government, but I'm not going to say too much about that. Sassy, you absolutely rock. Go to Sassy's channel and check out her video that she also did about Star Wars from her point of view. It's very, very powerful. Uh, Biggles Metz, what up? Kark. I have noticed the people who call everyone istenphobes, as the kids call it these days, tends to see everyone only as their race or sexuality. They're the first ones to do that. You're absolutely right. Uh, Biggles comes back with a $2 super thanks. Thank you, Biggles. Uh, even if I am always trolling you, Kark, <laughs> you know that I'm not going anywhere. Um, Biggles calls me Kark. And listen, I'm not going to explain it. I know that it confuses a lot of people, but... Here on my channel, I encourage you to think, all right? So, my name is Mark with a C, and he calls me Kark, C-A-R-K. You figure it out. Biggles, thank you so much for the uh, super thanks. Truth Warrior B88 says, correct on all counts, 100. Now, when someone called Truth Warrior says that you're correct, then you bow down and you say thank you. Rose Baggins says... I hear you, man. Of all the YouTubers I follow, you and Jojo Boy Wonder are the main ones talking about how absent black men seem to be in entertainment. Now, Jojo Boy Wonder, see, this is when I learned something, right? Now, I don't think that I know Jojo Boy Wonder. Sometimes I think that and then I go look at their video and I'm like, okay, yeah, I know him. But um, I'm going to look that up, definitely, because I like what, what you're saying here. Uh, it's one of several reasons why I follow you both. But then, I want to hear other opinions. Well, for the most part, I suppose. I argued with two women about the BLM riots and about how it was bad for those businesses. They pulled the whole, blacks need to be heard. I thought it funny and ironic that I was arguing with two white women and none of the black people I knew was making a comment. I should have said, then why are you talking for them and why not let them speak? But I've reached the realization, they are just like that guy who blocked you. They only want to hear from you when you agree with them. That and the one did block me. Not sure why the other one hasn't. I argue with her on so Song of the South. Anyways, point is, they're so narrow-minded, it's dizzying. We'll continue to listen in. <sighs> All right. You know what hurts me about that is that um, when you talk about the BLM riots, I think about the um, retired cop. I'm trying to remember his name. Forgive me. Uh, but you know who I'm talking about, a lot of you. Retired black cop who was trying to protect the neighborhood businesses who got killed in those riots. And um, unfortunately, I saw the video of it, and it's going to stay with me for the rest of my life. Um, there is no blacks need to be heard. Fuck that. There's no blacks need to be heard. Blacks need to be heard. Listen, you have, I don't want to get emotional here, but I remember the old man dying. You have YouTube, okay? 
You have social media. Blacks can be heard. Black people can be heard without being destructive, without being damaging, without being self-destructive, because you're not helping yourself when you do these things, when you riot. That man died. Other people were hurt. Businesses were lost. This served that community. This has nothing, nothing at all to do with blacks being heard. Fuck that bullshit. No. Um... I'll probably put in the pinned comment, you know, the story of the brother that I'm talking about. I, I'm sorry that it escapes me now, but I could go on and on about that. But I'm not going to because we're already at 20 minutes. And I'm going to start going through this a little bit quicker now. Uh, Jay Hest Hestinola3092 says, rock it. And he goes on to say, I watch even your videos. I watch even your videos, even when it's a topic I don't give a F about. You always come up with crazy shit. <laughs> Thank you. Darth Merlin said, you and I agree on most things. And even when you say something I don't agree with, I respect you for saying it. I appreciate you every time you drop a video because you always have something meaningful to impart to us. Keep doing what you do. Darth Merlin, you've been around for a long time. Thank you, bro. Don Smith 30, 303 says, keep rocking this bitch. That's what I'm talking about. I rock that bitch right over there. Hey, baby. Uh, let's see. Top G1 says, honestly... I don't think you and your friends have made a video. I, I don't think you and your friends should have made a video response. They were doing it to bait people into responding. Once you respond, they will falsely label you as a bigot. The token thing is disingenuous because not liking DSW has nothing to do with injustice. Dislike for DSW transcends ethnicities and cultures because the writing for many of their shows suck ass. I am a black woman. Yes, you are. Uh, Top G1, thank you. And I did actually reply to you before I actually sat down to do this video. But um, that's what they do. And, and see, that's the thing. It's like they want to, like every Star Wars fan, I have to say this, almost every Star Wars fan recognizes that racism is wrong. All right, we could just cut out all the bullshit and just go straight to that. We get it. Look, keep in mind, guys, a lot of people don't talk about this, but Harrison Ford, Han Solo, and Carrie Fisher, Princess Leia, both have Jewish roots. Both of them do. Strong Jewish roots. And I'm sure they're not the only ones on the cast. All right? Uh, we all know that racism and discrimination and all of that stuff, it's wrong, okay? There's always going to be people out there who are racist, who discriminate, who are prejudiced. But for the most part, we have that agreement. Why you would spend so much time at Disney Lucasfilm promoting this idea that you must drill into the current fandom that racism is wrong, especially at a time when you find yourselves being criticized for being lackluster, you know, for bad writing, for lore breaking, you know, for canon breaking. You turn around and this is your response. We tell you that we don't like what you've been doing with these stories. We tell you that you could do better creating these characters and fleshing out the, uh, the characters and their personalities. And you come back with, well, racism is wrong. You see how ridiculous that sounds? And then you influence other people to believe that that's what motivates us when it's not. All right. And the reasons why, once again, is because you hear that bird. Maybe it's just in my head. I don't know. But <laughs> you turn around and uh, you, mo you um, radicalize these people to come after us, you know, because you told them this because you put a bunch of diversity in your lackluster shows. So. Obviously, that must be the reason why these people are objecting to it. Never mind actually listening to people, especially listening to people like me. When you want my opinion, you'll give it to me, right? Uh, Top G1 says, ironically, the biggest bigot is the one calling everyone else a bigot. That's right. My brother, Chillmonger. Chillmonger, chill. What up, bruh? 307. Oh, thanks, man. Um, I think I looked that up. I think what he was talking about was the part when I said that um, I've shared the screen and I've streamed with a lot of people that I really love that are great, that are talented. And Chill is one of them. Chill is one of my favorite channels. You guys need to go check him out. Dude is witty as hell. He's bright. He's creative. He's talented. He's doing all types of things, man. You know what I mean? Um, unfortunately, he's Canadian, but nobody's perfect. Moving on. Jonas uh, LJ8UL says, I've always believed that a man should be judged by his enemies. It sounds to me like you're pissing off all the right people. Keep up the good work, sir. You know I will. All right, moving on. I got to wrap this up, guys. We're going on 20 freaking four minutes. But these are your comments. Steve's Oon 2564 says, I may not always comment, but I have been here for something like four years. I have mad respect for you, even if I don't agree. 
I can always understand where you're coming from. The fact that you don't get acknowledged blows my mind. You're clearly intelligent. Thank you. <laughs> Enough to explain your point to people and engage in an in-depth conversation. So for what it's worth, this is one white guy who isn't going anywhere. Rock on, brother. Much respect. Much love. Adama85 says, uh, That's a powerful statement you made, Mark. The people who attack the bigoted Star Wars fans will ignore you because you prove their narrative false. If they were to have a conversation with you, they might actually understand your point of view and realize that you guys are speaking the truth. It completely, it's completely disingenuous. Anyway, I just wanted to say that I appreciate you, what you do, and how long you've been at it. I've been watching your videos since OG High Council days. Rock on. Yeah, that's going back, man. My brother Dimajani. You know, Dimajani is, um, he's great. He's another channel you should uh, check out. Incredibly, incredibly underrated. You know, Dimajani is the real deal. He's into Star Wars. He knows his Star Wars. And he's also into social issues. You know, Dimajani speaks from the heart. You know, a lot of the way that I do. You know, without a script and jump cuts and all that stuff. I call him the target hitter. And he's very supportive and I support him. He is my dark council brother. Uh, Dimajani says, uh, another dope video, bro. Rock on. Absolutely. Rock on, Dimajani. Um... And uh, I want to also give another shout out to my brother, Lord Callis, because uh, Lord Callis is a great Star Wars channel. All right. You want to check out Lord Callis. We're very critical of Star Wars and Disney Star Wars these days. Lord Callis is a uh, Star Wars. Um, he's a Star Wars purist, and he's also a very um, logical and wise Star Wars fan, too. He's one of the only ones out here who... Uh, He's loyal to Star Wars, you know, and he has a passion for it. And he's positive with his passion for it. He's just about the lore, and you can feel that in, in what he does. You know, he's meticulous with it. And he let me know a long time ago that uh, Star Wars isn't for everyone. It's probably not for me. You know, he spared me a lot because that's what made me actually stop watching it after a while. Because he was right. It's like, why do you keep going back to something that you don't like? But I will criticize the circus that's around it you know i'm not going to watch it but i do have my commentary because that's what i do so if you ever want to have like a positive star wars experience and just get into the lore of it all then go on and check out my other dark council brother lord callus um maybe i'll leave the link in the pinned comment below but uh anyway guys here we are going on 28 minutes and uh thank you these are your comments and uh you can comment on your comments and i will catch you on the next one thank you guys thank you for hanging in there with me and uh, remember, guys, I also have a uh, channel on Rumble. I will leave the link to that also in the pinned comment below. Just give me a follow over there because just in case uh, YouTube has a problem with me uh, again, <laughs> you know, and I get kicked off, you guys know where to find me because I never stop making content. All right, guys. Thanks again. I'll catch you on the next one. This is The Gospel According to Mark with a C. Rock on.